Welcome back to South East Fishing everybody. This is the fourth episode of Where to Launch Your Boat. We're heading down to the Little Hampton Slipway which is opposite the RNLI launch spot. So I've put on screen the image from Google Maps along with the postcode. If you pop this into your phone or sat nav it will take you directly there. But this is the route you would take if you are exiting the roundabout on the A259. So we're coming down Fitzlam Road, we go over the first roundabout. Go round this roundabout and take the third exit along Wall Travers Road. Keep going, go straight over the roundabout. You have Lidl on your left. Take the left down Surrey Street and then left again. Follow it round and here you are at the slipway. So here it is. This is the Little Hampton public slipway, not the Little Hampton Marina one. This is opposite the RNLI boat station, so they will be using this to launch if they get a call out, so do be aware of that. Although this is a public slipway, it isn't free, you do need to pay your harbour dues. This is £12.84 for boats under 11 metres and £15.72 for boats 11 metres and over. I will leave a link in the description with a link to their website and also a link to the page where you can just pay using PayPal. So as you can see, this is a really nice slipway. It's really wide, you can launch multiple boats at once. When you are launching, it is advised to launch two hours either side of high tide so you don't get stuck in the mud. However, it does depend on the tide on the day and it is obviously down to yourself. So here's a sign that shows you a bit about the parking, which I'll cover in a minute. It's just around the corner. You are allowed to launch jet skis here. So that's a bonus for some people. So the harbour, it's a 6.5 knot speed limit. They are very strict and they do have a lot of cameras. So make sure you don't break the speed limit because you will be fined. You also need to have your VHF on the channel 71. So if they need to get hold of you, they can. And as I said, make sure you pay your harbour dues and register your vessel. So if you take the left, this will take you out to sea. If you take the right, this will take you up the River Ada. As I said, this is a tidal river, so make sure you time it right. But there are some nice little pubs you can stop off at on the way, and it's, it's a really nice little journey up there. So if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you do subscribe. There are going to be plenty more videos covering different launch sites across the south coast of the UK. So let's take a look at this new recipe that I found. So this is for a baked stuffed bass. I haven't tried this recipe yet, but it does sound unreal. So make sure you give it a try. But let's show you the parking situation. So if you take the right, which takes you round the side of the RNLI shop, this will take you into the car park. Now there are plenty of bays to park your car, and there are a number of places to park your trailer. So make sure you have a look at the parking charges here. So if you want to park all day, you can use the Ringo app and it is £7.30. It says on here over four hours £7 but on the app it is £7.30. So make sure you download the app and you can use the code 9662 and this will allow you to pay for your parking. So as always thank you for watching my video. This slipway is probably one of the best around in sort of the Sussex coast. It's one of my favourite. If you want me to check out any other slipways, make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll go to that venue and I'll get a nice little video for you. So thank you very much.